three things, mind, body, and soul. How important are these things? Very important. It is everything that makes up you. I'm gonna start off talking about the mind because without the mind, nothing else can follow. Number one, the mind. <laughs> the following is things that will affect your state of mind and your mental health. How often do you meditate? Are you around negativity too much? How's your relationship going? Understand that emotions deeply tie into the mind and the heart, which are connected. Just be aware of that. How people make you feel, how situations make you feel, how being in certain locations make you feel, because it all affects your mind. And that is the first thing that energy filters through. Are you happy most of the time or are you sad most of the time? Are you a positive optimist or are you a negative pessimist? How much do you complain and whine throughout the day? Is your mind most of the time focused on good things or bad things happening? How are the mental state of the people around you? All of these things will indicate to you how well your mind is and what you need to work on. Whether that be meditating more, taking a step back from negative people, only focusing on yourself, being more optimistic and positive, not letting anything stop you from what you have set to do, etc. I just want you to be aware of what your mind is because this is the first part of the trinity, the mind. Without the mind, there is nothing. Moving on, we have the body. You didn't see me flex. The body. <laughs> body real simple. Just know your mind can't do what your mind wants to do if your body isn't up to par. Meaning weekly exercise and eating more healthy. I didn't say diet, I said eat more healthy. This is what will make the difference in your life. Not eating less, but eating more good food. Simple. If you don't move around a lot, if a lot of your daily life involves you being seated or laying down, you wanna be aware of that. You wanna be exercising weekly, not just for the looks, but for the feel. If you don't have enough energy, if, you know what I'm saying? It, it just gives you a motivation and a different kind of push if, if you exercise. Exercise have greatly improved my confidence in myself. Exercise have greatly improved my dopamine release. You know, uh, the reward factor in your brain when you feel good. It's kind of like getting an A on the test when you finish a good exercise. And it's not hard. It's not. The only hard thing about exercising is staying consistent. But if you keep your mind on your body, then you will never fail. Eat less of the bad stuff, eat more of the good stuff. Shouldn't be that hard, right? You gotta want it. You gotta want what you want. If you don't care about your mind, your body, or your soul, then you're not alive. I want you to be living. I want you to be full of positive energy every day. I want you to feel great when you wake up and ready to attack the day and ready to move forward towards your goals. And you can't do that unless your mind and your body and your soul is on the same page, you feel me? Anyways. Down to the soul. So your mind wants to live peacefully and happily and to accomplish goals and evolve. Your body wants to be healthy and full of energy. So what does your soul want? Well, your soul wants you to feel good and also feel as though you are living your purpose. The hardest part about the mind, body, soul trinity is getting your soul to become satisfied with your work. Your physical might be happy with the things that you are doing and feeling instant gratification, but inside it won't feel right. It'll feel like you're doing something wrong. This is how you know when your soul is not on the same page as your body or your mind, especially if you're sharing your body with partners that you knew you shouldn't have been sharing your body with in the first place. With that being said, I suggest and advise you to meditate on finding your purpose if you haven't already. And if you have found your purpose down here or whatever you feel like is your purpose right now, because purposes, you know, evolve and change through time sometimes, I encourage you to work towards those things, to work on your soul and help your soul and make your soul feel better, make you feel not only good on the outside, but feel great on the inside to know that you are here doing what you are here to do. And best believe when you serving your purpose, can't nothing touch you, baby.